All right, so this is where we are. Now, the deal is, if you haven't seen any of the rest of the stuff, we have a 13-inch Ryobi mower that uses this blade. This blade is not carried in stock in any store, so you have to order it. It cost about 20 bucks, and I was trying to make an alternative so that I wouldn't have to order this blade every time it got damaged, and I'd be able to quickly repair it. Now, we've tried different things. This right here is a standard weed eater head. The first one actually used steel cable, but it broke pretty fast. This works pretty decent, but it uh it builds up material inside underneath the mower because it has no way to get it out so that one kind of a bust now this one i made this one last night and tested it and this works really really good um it cuts great the problem we have here is that there are no fins on these little orange blades like you see on this <clears throat> so it has the same kind of issue where you have material build up under the mower and doesn't get expelled out so I like this, but I had to make a few changes. So last night, I made this. Now, as you can see, the two are very, very similar. They are extremely close. These are the Ryobi ends, and these are printed polycarbonate. And what we have is this right here. We have an angle on the end, so that as it spins, hopefully it'll have air force going up and shoot that grass and stuff out. Inside here, we have a piece of arrow shaft. Now this arrow shaft is full of BBs to add weight to the end of these things. They also stand as a stiffener for these polycarbonate parts so that on the ends especially it doesn't warp and bend and delaminate. Now we're going to go out there and hook this up and try it. And what we want to know is one, how well it works obviously. But we want to know how well these polycarbonate blades hold up. Because if these work, and they work pretty good, then it cost me $2 to replace all four blades. And that's it. Now, these right here, by the way, these little vents, well, let me just go show you. you look at our mower here. <clears throat> this is little vents for the motor. And what these do on the bottom here is as that thing spins, they pull air up and hopefully try to keep that a little cooler. Although I haven't had any issue with it overheating. But... Let's get this thing mounted and go give it a shot. Okay, so as you can see, we got plenty of room all the way around it. And with any luck at all, as this thing rotates, it'll give you enough air force, enough upward air to blow the material out the back. Because I have this mower set up with some zip ties here, so the back is always open to blow it out. But, uh, yeah, hopefully she works here we go oh look at that definitely blowing the material off the back we'll move up right here and try it out where you can really see it blowing the material out that's awesome okay so it works freaking great i mean it mows amazing but we do have a failure here it looks like one of them, the, the piece on the top that I was using for a stiffener, uh, broke. The, the old graphite piece, the arrow shaft, flew out somewhere. I don't know where it went. So we're going to make another set of these blades that are just solid plastic. We're just going to make them straight, straight, uh, oh, what is it, straight polycarbonate probably 30 40 percent solid oh man look at that i wonder what happened there i may have to make this piece out of polycarbonate as well that's a it must have hit something or maybe that's just caused from that that uh arrow shaft coming off and bouncing around in there let's see if i can find it but it definitely cuts really really nice it cuts freaking awesome now we got this thing in here to pull this off and look at it. But man, just look at how clean that is in there. I think this does much better airflow than the original, the original uh, metal blade. So we got this in here. Now, <clears throat> looking at it, you can clearly see where the the rod came out of it, and you see how the layers are separated like that. Part of that may have been that this was printed a little faster than you should be printing. Uh, polycarb but honestly 
I wouldn't be surprised at all. It's just the, the forces that this thing is under as it moves around in there cause that thing to separate. And then, of course, the, the ballast in there came out. So we're just going to print the solid. Now this right here, that right there is likely caused from the impact of the carbon fiber hitting the outside and then smashing back into it. PETG is a really good material for a lot of stuff, but it is very hard. That, that's why you see it all cracked away like that. A better material for this will be polycarb probably, but I don't have a lot of, I don't want to spend a bunch of time making another one of these out of polycarb, and I don't know if I actually have enough polycarb to make another one. So what we're going to do is we're going to use PLA Pro. PLA Pro is a lot tougher when it comes to this. It isn't nearly as hard as uh, as PETG. The problem with PLA Pro is uh, heat dissipation. You know, heat will mess with it and cause it to warp at a lower temperature than PETG. But for what this is doing, where it's spinning underneath there, that may not be a problem. So we're gonna we're going to change the design for these, and we're gonna modify this design just a little bit. We'll print both of these parts tonight, and we'll try it again tomorrow. But, uh, man, I'm happy with it. You know, I didn't cut a whole lot. Let's get the blade. Those, I only did, I don't know, probably about 400 feet before it fractured on me. But those blades right there, they still feel good and sharp. So, man, I really want to get the whole lawn cut and just see how much wear, how much wear we get on those. Anyway. It's a good experiment. Let's make